Welcome back to the channel, Johnny True Love. Please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. So today we're gonna to be talking about what projection looks like. And this can be from a narcissist or this could just be from someone unhealed. And the reason why I bring this up, it's because of a previous comment that I received from a person who I thought pretty much was an empath. But I'm seeing that they're, they're unhealed themselves. And the bird's gonna agree with me. So, what projection looks like from somebody unhealed um, or narcissist, you can say. But, you know, I'm gonna just give you a quick example of how that looks and what exactly is it. Uh, I'm gonna actually link the video right down below if you guys can check out the full video. It was nothing bad, it was nothing that I meant harm from. And when I first came across this comment, I felt bad at first, you know, because the way I responded, the way I responded. You know, I'm like, you know what? I was a little bit unsensitive, you know, looking at it from her perspective. Let me go ahead and read this email for you can give you a better breakdown. You did not ask permission to put me on your and your channel. And I was not awakened. I was still in the midst of narcissistic abuse because I never got help. In fact, I was numb two years before that. And then when I finally started to actually feeling it, it was all anger. You know, the way I responded to that comment, it was pretty harsh, you know, me seeing it from her perspective, me actually putting myself behind her shoes. Uh, I'm like, you know what? It probably was wrong for me to answer the way I did. And the way I answered her was, you know, um, I did not know I needed your permission, especially since you openly posted that comment. You know, it was pretty rude. It was pretty blunt. I go, but thank you for the idea and I appreciate you helping out. Pretty much just what I said. Then the response I got, that was kind of shocking because I kind of knew, I'm like, you know, to, and not to mention, now that I'm thinking about this, do you know who else told me something very, very similar to that? Was Louise Gardner. She actually told me the same thing. She told me I did not give you permission to use my emails. So it's practically the same thing. But she told me the exact same thing. So it's kind of odd there, right? But anywho, going back to the message, her response, once I seen her response, I'm like, oh my God. This is projection, straight up projection. So it doesn't have to be from a narcissist. It, ha it can be from somebody who's also unhealed, a dark empath, or somebody who's not doing the work. And I'll give you my opinion, I'll give you my perspective of why I believe she said this. So let's listen to what she said. OMG, you're so wrong, so wrong for that. You get, you'll get no more of my energy. You are not healed, you are fake. I feel sorry for you. You're always going to be empty, non-feeling, non-feeling imposter, hiding behind a mask. You're fooling all these people, but they'll figure it out eventually. People usually do when it's when they when they're like you. Let me give you a, so let me give you a little breakdown of that. That's a perfect example of what something like projection looks like. Because I'm pretty open to this is my channel about me healing. So of course, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm in the I'm in the process. I'm, I call myself a wounded healer. Carve on the wounded healer. So, I'm, so not, I'm healing myself. You know, so it's not something that like, oh, I'm healed and I'm perfect and I'm, I'm all unicorns, rainbows, and sunshine. I know that. You know, I'm healing. I've been healing for the past three years now. You know, and, and, like, and like I said before, people are only going to meet you as deep as they met themselves, as much inner work as they've done themselves. So obviously, she's not healed. And since she's not healed, she's trying to project onto me that I'm not the one being healed. But I've been open about my narcissistic traits. I've been very open with it for, for such a long time now. So that's just the first projection, okay? So the second one's, you're fake. I feel sorry for you. That's actually a narcissist move. A narcissist would try to belittle you and bring you down with stuff. stuff. It's just like that. Like, I feel sorry for you. I feel bad for you. And, and thinking about it again, the other person who told me that once was, again, Louise Gardner. Was, I did a live. Um, um, very, very upset about Elizabeth Sunchaser. She's a moderator for the Chosen 144. And I was on there, you know, ranting on there, giving, because she's fake. She's another fake one. You know, Elizabeth Sunchaser is another fake person. Yeah. Uh, but you know what, like I said, to me that was just a test. I think she was just testing me to see how far I would go. Like, that's what, kind of what I think. But she obviously triggered me, and I was, um, you know, reacting. See how I'm open I am <laughs> about my shoes? Uh, Louise Garner. And she, on my live, as I was venting on my live, she went ahead and said, I felt sorry for you, Johnny. I felt sorry for you, Johnny. And like, 
I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna tell you, Manda, the same thing I told you. Why? Don't feel bad, cause I sure fucking don't. I don't feel bad for myself. You know, I was, I, and I'll do it. I even told her, I'll do it again. I'll do it again and again to expose the fucking truth. So to me, there's, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing. It's not, so don't feel bad for me, cause I don't. So just to, so that's just another projection of how she feels about herself. And I'm gonna digress a little bit about this and I'll give you another example when it comes to my mom. My mom did that, my, my mom does that a lot. You know I mean, projects onto others. You know, when I was over there in Vegas, you know, when they were arguing, my stepdad and her would be arguing, not even my stepdad, my stepdad stayed quiet. My mom just chews his fucking ass out big time. And I'll give you an example, she calls him a bitch. Yeah, bitch. My stepdad just takes it, you know, but I'm like, in my head, hearing, I'm like, my stepdad's not a bitch. But me knowing my mom's past, my mom's history of her, you mean, upbringing and the way men used to beat her growing up and, you know, it's a, it's a long story. That's what men would tell my mom. They would call her a bitch, put her down, you know, put her, uh, verbally abuse her and put her down. And like I said, man, I grew up, you know, watching my mom get her ass kicked, literally get her ass kicked, like literally, like literally. And um, so that's how I know that was a projection because that's something they told my mom. That's something the way they used to put her down. That's something the way they made her feel, to make her feel bad. So now she's projecting onto my dad by calling him that. So that's just a little example. So let's go back to the comment, you know, of uh, Manda. Okay. You're fake and I feel sorry for you. Well, honey, that's the thing is I'm not fake. I have never been uh, more authentic than I have now and I've been so much open. So, you know, and like I said, I'm not here to explain myself. I'm just giving you the example of what projection looks like. Okay, let me go back to the rest of the comment. And I feel sorry for you. You're always going to be an empty, non filling imposter. A non filling imposter. Remember, all this stuff that she's saying, it's how she feels about herself. Why? Because she doesn't know me for her to be saying this stuff. And the only reason why someone's going to say it is because I triggered them. All this is because someone got triggered because I used their comment. Because if she was really healed and she was really on point, they would have been a big deal. And the way I responded to her, I would have mm -hmm. eventually, like, meaning you don't send me that comment, I would have apologized. apologized. But now seeing that message, like, dude, no. This fucking bitch is either a covert nerd or she's an unhealed empath, a dark empath. But seeing that, she's unhealed, man. Just straight the fuck up. Because she's projecting right onto me how she feels. You're going to uh, uh, imposter hiding behind a mask. Hiding behind a mask. <laughs> Which mask would you like to see? <laughs> uh, so, I people call them mask. And by the way, we all wear masks. You know, and I've said it before and I'll say it again. You know, you're not going to act the same way at work as you do at a birthday party with a friend. You're not going to act the same way at that birthday party than you would at church. You're not going to act the same way at, uh, at a school event that you would. Those are different masks. When you're at work, you you put a mask on if you're a service to others or if you're helping somebody or if you're in customer service. Or you wear a mask. You know, we all wear masks. Um, you could even t call on them archetypes. They're archetypes, you know, the warrior archetype, the lover archetype, the king, the archetype, you know, the, the fool, which is another archetype. Those are all masks, those are all, or, or characters that we embody. So we all wear a mask, honey. So it's not something that's new. And plus, I've been open with this, very much open with this. So I'm not, not sure what you mean by mask, because we all wear them. We all wear these masks. Okay, so that's another part. You're fooling all these people, but they'll figure you out. You're fooling all these people, what people? What people? And my followers? followers? Um, if they've been following me for long enough, you're gonna see that I who am I fooling? I'm just sharing my story, so I don't know who I'm fooling. Okay? So, this is how I know it's all a project. And and the birds and the dogs can agree with me. I think that's it. So I just want to give you a quick little layout and the way projection looks like from somebody who's unhealed. Or narcissists, because narcissists are going to do the exact same thing. They're going to project how they feel onto you. And this is a perfect example of what they do. You know, they're going to put you down. They're going to belittle you. 
and convince you that it's you. Now, it's going to be a little more hurtful and a little bit more personal if it's somebody you know. If it's somebody, a family member or a loved one, that's when we start taking it personal because why would a loved one tell us this? That's what I'm saying. I'll say this again. If you are in a relationship with a toxic person, it's not going to get any better. So you have to leave. You have to get the fuck out. I could recognize this right away. Right away that this was projection. So that was just a quick little example of what projection looks like. So like I said, you know, and I do want to give a thanks to Louise Garner and Manda for helping me come up with this content at least. So like I said, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. I didn't see it. See it. See it. See it.